Hey everyone, I'm Debbie with Campus and Community Recreation. I work as one of the fitness supervisors at the U of A. And as we spend another week here in quarantine, I'm bringing you another workout to challenge you at home. Today we're gonna focus on our quads. So we're gonna have six different exercises and we're gonna perform them in a 10 by 10 format. So that means 10 reps times 10 rounds. Now you can choose to superset two exercises at a time and alternate, or you can perform them each individually and make your way through all six exercises, whatever works for you. So we'll go through all the demos here and you can let us know how it goes in the comments. So we're gonna start with a single leg squat. So we're gonna need a chair, a table, an ottoman, anything that you have that's knee height, thigh height, that you can rest on, step up on, um, whatever you have around your house works just fine. So setting up here, we're gonna stand just a little bit away from whatever surface you have and transfer that weight onto one leg. So stacking that weight over your hips, torso is strong, core is engaged. We're gonna sit those hips back onto the chair, just tap and stand back up. So all the way down, just tap, back up. So 10 on each leg here, 10 times through. We also can advance this exercise if you feel like you don't need a chair or you need a little bit more of a challenge. We can do a freestanding single leg squat. So what that's gonna look like is just, again, transferring that weight over, but coming all the way down and back up. So you have no surface to help support you, but it's a lot more challenging. So again, you choose whichever modification you need. 10 sets, 10 rounds. Our next exercise is gonna be a split squat. So again, we're gonna utilize whatever surface you have, and we're gonna elevate one of those feet behind you. So I like to have my toes flat, but you can also curl your toes under if that's more comfortable for you. From here, you're gonna take a couple steps away from that surface, so that when you bend down into that squat, your knees are gonna be at a nice 90 degree angle or parallel to that floor. So as we come into our squat here, we're gonna again sit back into those hips. Your back leg is gonna to move towards your chair and we're sitting into that front leg, working that front quad. So as you come down, that back leg is getting a little bit of a stretch into that hip flexor and we're stacked right over top of that standing leg. So nice and strong through that quad, through that ankle, Knee is tracking the same line as those toes, and back up. So you would do 10 on each side here. Switching legs, 10 rounds again. Our next exercise is gonna be a step up. So again, we're utilizing this surface that we have here, and we're gonna elevate one of our legs facing forward. So make sure it's nice and flat, planted on that surface. You have lots of room. Your foot's not gonna slip and slide. And from here, we're gonna transfer our weight forward onto that standing leg again. And we're gonna pull ourselves up using that quad that's elevated. So you're trying to minimize the amount of push off you feel that you need to do with this bottom leg here and really focus on engaging that quad that's on the chair. So again, 10 on each side here. Our next exercise is gonna be a lunge. So standing with those feet hip width apart, we're just gonna take a big step forward with one leg, bringing both those knees down to a 90 degree angle. Again, torso stays upright, core is strong, and you feel strong through those legs. Alternating legs here. So you're gonna perform 20 or 10 on each leg. And again, from the side, we're just making sure we're getting a nice bend in both those knees without smashing that back knee down on the floor. So again, alternating those legs, 10 on each side, 10 times through. Our next exercise is gonna be a wall set. It's so finding a nice flat surface and a nice stable ground. I'm on a mat here, but making sure that it's not going to slide out from underneath you. We're going to slowly walk those feet out a little bit and sit into those legs. So again, you want to be parallel to the floor with those thighs. So nice 90 degree bend in both those knees. You 
you're not bracing through those arms, pushing into those legs, you're nice and relaxed in that upper body. Your shoulders and your butt are all in contact with the wall. You're gonna hold for a minute here. So 10 times at a minute. Our very last exercise is gonna be a pause squat. So again, we'll start with those feet just a little bit wider than your hips. And we're sitting back into those hips. Torso stays upright, core engaged, knees tracking those toes. And we're gonna squat, hold, two, three, and back up. So squat, hold, 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 and back up. 10 times, 10 rounds. So you can, again, you can perform these guys as a superset. You can do the first two exercises alternating back and forth for 10 rounds and then move on to the next two and the third two. Or you can do each one individually as its own 10 rounds. Let me know how it goes, guys.